private information is meant to stay private. To make sure that happens, you need the right tools. That's why we're giving you the lowdown on L2TP. Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol, or L2TP, creates a virtual private network, or VPN, that allows remote hosts to connect to one another through a secure tunnel. It doesn't provide any encryption for confidentiality by itself, but relies on encryption protocol that passes within the tunnel, which provides privacy. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show you how to configure the L2TP server on the RV340 next. One of L2TP's biggest advantages is that it encrypts the authentication process, which makes it more difficult for someone to listen in on your private transmissions or to intercept and steal data. L2TP not only provides confidentiality, but also data integrity. To start things off, we'll log into our router and go to VPN. We'll first create an IPsec profile. Under the IPsec profile table, we'll click the plus sign. Here we can enter all our information. We'll name our profile new underscore L2TP. Our keying mode will stay at auto, and our Ike version will be Ike V1. Under phase one options, we'll choose group two 1024 for our DH group. The encryption will be 3DES, authentication will be SHA-1, and we'll choose the default value of 28,800 for the SA lifetime. Next, we have the phase two options. The protocol selection will be set to ESP. We'll leave the encryption at 3DES. Next, the authentication will be changed to SHA-1, and the SA lifetime will stay at the default value of 3600. We'll see that the perfect forward secrecy is already enabled. And finally, the DH group will be Group 2. To save, we'll click Apply on the top right corner of our page. Next, we'll head on over to the L2TP server. After turning it on, we can start to add in our information. We'll leave the MTU at 1400. Our start IP address will be 10.0.0.1, and our end IP address will be 10.0.0.25. We'll keep the user authentication group name as admin and skip over to the bottom options. Here, we'll turn IPsec on and choose our profile from the drop-down menu. Next, we'll enter in our pre-shared key. Once that's entered, we'll click Apply on the top right corner. We're all finished. That's how to configure the L2TP server on the RV340. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.